Now, welcome back. While you might be able to tell your Merlot from your Malbec, what's your lager knowledge like? Well, according to a recent taste test, hardly anyone could tell Britain's lager brands apart. Well, Ollie Smith says they do taste different and that different lagers are better for different occasions. And he's here to tell us now and why. Ollie. I love my lager. You're a lager say, man, yeah? Absolutely. Well, when the, when, the, when the sun is out and we've got the bank holiday weekend, I firmly believe that summer is not over yet. I think lager's <laughs> okay. up there with the greatest drinks. Crisp, refreshing, easy. Yeah. Actually, it's great on its own, yeah. but also mm -hmm. there are some great food matching pairings as well that you absolutely. can go for. So, yeah, for me, lager's amazing. Okay. Now, you're not a massive fan. Uh, not really. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give it a go. You like a bit of a okay. shandy? Um, yeah, I do like a shandy, like but shandy. no, not a big lager fan, but I'll give it a go. Yeah. I'm interested in the pairings as well, what food... You know. I think that always brings out the best moment in a meal. But, you know, we were talking earlier, and I think lager is a great way to start the proceedings as well yes. and lead on to the heavier yeah. stuff. Uh, anything's a good way to start the proceedings <laughs> with Marvin. Trust me. Man after my own. <laughs> well, should we start Absolutely. off with our, um, our first little lager? There you go, Rochelle. I'll have a little Thank taste you. of that. See what you think. Thank now, you I'm going to ask you guys to give it a mark out of ten, and I'll then reveal what it is and uh, how much it costs. But this okay. first one is a big-name brand. So, uh, I mean, what you're expecting from a lager, depending on the strength of alcohol, the higher the alcohol, usually the more flavour they have. And this this one, yeah, it's got a bit of oomph about it. What yeah, are we thinking, though? Are you... Quite strong, actually. Yeah. Quite See, a strong, sort of woody was. taste. Bit of woody taste. Are you liking it? What are you going to give it out of 10? Are you going to give it a little more? I like that. Lagers go for me. I think that's quite... I, I actually recognise that. You do? I do recognise it. Do you want to call it? Do you want to have a go at... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a big name. It's one of them. Is it? Is it a Heineken? Oh, I couldn't possibly reveal just yet. <laughs> but if you give it a mark, I'll okay. dive straight in there. Yeah. I can tell you it's a beer that's been made since 1926. This particular example does come from Belgium. Uh, what are our marks? We're giving it's eight and seven. Fantastic. Yeah. I will reveal in that case it is Stella Artois. Ah, <laughs> it's the famous I, I Stella. Famous Stella. And that you can get for, you know, roughly one pound, one pound oh six a bottle it starts. Okay. Okay. So, you know, it's a fair price for a big name brand and we yeah. liked it. You guys liked it. Really good. What would you eat Stella with? I would go for something quite robust. So I think actually Stella can stand up to quite big flavours. So if you're having a main meal, I'd even say, you know, something like chicken. Obviously, things like fish, light dishes are mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But I'd say with Stella, because it's got that much alcohol, yeah. I love it with my spicy nuts. Ah. <laughs> Not specifically my spicy nuts, but any spicy nuts. Of course, nuts. of course. Fine. Some spicy nuts. Some <laughs> spicy nuts. Okay. Okay. What's next? So second up, we're going to go for uh, a supermarket own label brand because okay. there's a lot of them around. Uh, what you're looking for, I suppose, for these ones is good value for money. Right. Um, there are all sorts of different types of, of lager, and this one here is more of a Pilsner style. It's a brighter, crisper, lighter style of lager. So okay. this one, I'd be thinking, is like white bait, fish and chips, anything shellfishy, or just on its own. It's that kind of a lager. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely lighter. Yeah. Definitely lighter. And if a, if a lager comes from Germany, it's worth knowing they have a purity law, so they can only contain barley, hops and water. Uh, we're going for our marks here. We have, yeah. they're in six and five. That's not bad at all. I can tell you it is Aldi's Steinhauser really? oh. German lager, and it's a bit of a bargain from 67 pence a bottle. Wow. Oh, wow. Nearly half the price yeah. of this. Though. Nearly half the price, and we thought it was a respectable taste. That doesn't there. reflect in the, in the quality. No, 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 no. Really I think good. It's, it's good stuff, yeah. So uh, we have our next category here, and this is what I call craft lager. Now, craft beers. Oh, wow hugely popular at the moment and all that really means what is that it, yeah, they've been made in, in sort of smaller amounts okay. with right. lots of love lots of attention to detail and they tend to be a bit bigger in flavor whether right. they're pale ales lagers um all of them seem to have a bit more personality yeah it's definitely got a lot more flavor not as easy to drink as the other two mm. the others are a bit smoother this is a bit so harsher. you might have this one yeah I you prefer could... that we're liking it. Yeah, we've got a divided camp. I love mm. this one with with mild spicy dishes, things like Thai curry. I just think it's a phenomenal one. I'm a little more It's my least favourite. You are. Least favourite so far. We've got Definitely. another division in the house. This is it, though. They oh, do this is the taste story of our life. There's always a division in the house, <laughs> Five from our vendor. Eight from... Well, that is amazing from Rochelle. Uh, this is Camden Hells. It's made here in London from the ah. Camden Brewery. One of oh, my really? faves. Yeah, I really love it. It's um, it's a great lager and it costs how much? One pound eighty nine from Waitrose. Oh, that's expensive. One. It but is we expensive. Go, go with expensive taste. I was going to say, it's not a surprise at <laughs> this one, Ali. It is interesting though. We all have different <laughs> flavours that are our favourites. Like we've got different like favourite colours and mm. yeah. you know, it's it's to be expected. So there we Absolutely. have it. Absolutely. Okay. Just goes to show. So this category is my curry beer. Uh, ah. and it's a, it's a, actually this is a combination of a lager and a beer it's supposed to have the brightness of lager and the kind of mellowness of an ale and with curry lagers oh, they I really like that you do mm. yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely the that's lightest lovely. 
I think that's the lightest and easiest to drink. Oh, you could drink a bit of that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I'd say mm. so. Yeah, and it's been designed as well to have a little bit less gas. Nice. So a lot of the kind of curry beers are designed so they have a little less impact on the on the kind of. That that would be good for Marvin. Is he like a curry? <laughs> a you a curry fan? No, she's a talking about the gas. gas. Oh, right, <laughs> got <Yeah>. it. Yeah. Between <laughs> 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 your gas and my spicy nuts. Oh, we, um, we, so we got agreed. Ah. There well, we have all. Oh, we have a first. Yeah. first. That's incredible. And a double eight. Oh, ah, Cobra. Cobra. Ah. A famous curry beer. Whenever um, we have a curry, they, yes, always, they always send us send a couple of Cobras. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's done brilliantly well, and it was designed when the fellow who invented it was 27 years old. He was mm. 20,000 pounds in debt. He saw a niche, and it's done brilliantly well. Wow, yeah. I'd say yeah, so. hats off. Uh, and finally, it's my wild card. Oh. Ah. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you what exactly this is, but right. I'm just intrigued to see how you get along with it because it's one of the categories in lager that you don't see a huge amount. Of. Yeah, I should have said Cobra as well. 88p for bottle. It's mm. wi widely available. So a yeah, really? bit of a bottle. Oh, I must admit, this is, this is my least favourite. Ollie. Me. Least favourite. We're going favorite. downhill with this one. So we've ended with a bit of a, a perhaps a bit of a low note. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I peaked tell you, I peaked with a Cobra, but what have we got here? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's we've got a three. Oh, it's not going too well. Sorry. Three and a two. Sorry, Ollie. No, sorry, don't be apologetic Ollie. because it's got no alcohol in it. Oh, it's that's blue. That's why. It's best blue. I mean. Some people look, they want the flavour, they might not be able to add the alcohol, but the wild card. That is terrible. That makes, yeah, that makes so much sense now. There you go. It all makes sense. Stuff. Well, I think we can have a look back now at our lager leaderboard and see what our ah, scores okay. are. But the, okay. the Bex is widely available, 50p a bottle, but let's see where we are. So in the lead, we've got, well, oh, hang on. So Stella 15. And Cobra won. Oh, Cobra. Cobra won. Cobra winning. Uh, we've got in second place Stella Artois. Uh, then we have the Camden Hells coming in third, the Aldi coming in uh, fourth, and then, oh, look at that, Bex Blue. Wow. Oh. I like, I like what you did there, though. That was good. Yeah, I know. That, what yeah, does that, that say was... about us? That's terrible. I know, it's quite bad. <laughs> I think you like curry. You like good flavoured beer. <laughs> That's all it says. Clearly. But whatever you fancy, I always say to people, you can never be wrong with your taste buds because you, you should always just enjoy what you love the most. Very Absolutely. True. Thank, Thank you, Wally. It's always a pleasure. Much. Good Any to see you. Great to enjoy your weekend. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> and if you're looking to pick up a bargain this weekend, if you're entertaining your family or friends, here's our best buyer for your beers. Okay, still to come, materialising from the TARDIS, Jenna Coleman's here to talk.